Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly love predictions reading. This reading is intended for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So if you are not a Pisces or do not have strong Pisces placements in your chart, aka if you are cross watching, you're more than welcome to stay. I just need you to know that I'm a very honest reader. So if you hear or see something you do not like, you have been warned. Now that I've got that spiel out of the way, let me introduce today's topic a little bit further. We're going to be looking at your love life from mid-May to mid-June specifically. I'm going to start by getting some oracle cards from this beautiful deck and then we're going to get more specific messages with tarot. We're also going to look at the main challenge you'll experience in love in the month ahead, the main blessing you'll experience in love in the month ahead and we're going to get advice for you as well. If necessary I will get an outcome card but I haven't been doing that for the water signs um, mostly because <laughs> there's been a lot of advice and just a lot of information. I haven't been able to even get an outcome card. So we'll see how we go for you, Pisces. Maybe you're my lucky ducks. Let's have a look. What is Pisces' main themes in love for the month ahead, Spirit? From mid-May to mid-June, what are Pisces' main themes in love for the month ahead? Interesting. Pisces... What is, mm, okay, I'm going to leave it there because we got a lot of cards. So at the back of your deck, we have chances in the reverse position, if it will show itself. Chances. Let me put this card down, um, this deck down, and I'll show you the other cards that came out. Where do we start? We'll go with justice and fun first. Have a look at that. We got fun in the reverse position, justice in the upright position. Why is fun blocked? That's what I want to know. Why is fun blocked? We also have Karma, which came out with this unknown card I haven't looked at yet. Courage. Ooh, Pisces. Uh, a main theme, justice, lack of fun, karma, courage, as well as chances blocked. So I'm getting a few messages. I feel like for some of you, you are making something happen here balancing out the scales it's not easy to do maybe it requires a more serious approach with fun reversed maybe it's something that is kind of like ripping a band-aid off or being a bit more structured and less sort of frivolous but I feel the goal here is to balance the scales with justice and karma here there is a strong feeling of things being out of alignment when it comes to a relationship or a situation in your love life needing to kind of bring things into corrective positions. Now, this is either because you've been lacking and you're kind of making up for the action that you haven't taken previously when it comes to your love life, or you're trying to coax something to happen based on somebody else's lack of action here. I think with courage, this is something that isn't exactly second nature to you. You're not feeling comfortable with the responsibility of, of bringing this balance and recalibration into your love life. But at the same time, you feel like you've got more to lose if you don't do anything so it takes a lot of effort and maybe a lot of strength that you don't even realize you're needing to muster in order to do this I'm very curious so let's get straight into tarot spirit please what is happening for Pisces in the month ahead when it comes to their love life what is happening for Pisces between mid-May to mid-June when it comes to their love life Pisces, please, spirit. Pentacles energy. Some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign. So we're looking at Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is going on with Pisces? Hmm. Oh, okay. Very fantastical. Did you see how that came out? Back of the deck, we have the five of pentacles in the reverse position. So, oh, 
I'm like, oh, <laughs> where do I start? You have a lot of cards. You have the Two of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, both reversed over here. You also had the Knight of Cups come out surely after, surely, shortly after that. My mouth is giving up on me. I've, you're my last water sign, so <laughs> my mouth is like, I'm done. We also have the Eight of Pentacles, which came out after the Knight of Cups. Then we had the Chariot just kind of flop out in its own wise or mysterious ways. And then we also had the Tower come out. So I'm going to throw some signs out there because I haven't, I haven't done this for all of them in terms of all the zodiacs but for you I feel called to strong earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn we also have Cancer and we've got some Aries and Scorpio with that tower card the five of pentacles at the back of your deck it kind of tells me that your goal here is to gain a sense of connection within your love life either you're trying to come out of the cold with somebody you're trying to mend a relationship potentially or you're trying to find connection based on a relationship you've had to walk away from there is a feeling in your energy for the month ahead of of wanting to kind of patch things up and and not be so cold not be so um needless because it feels like some of our needs aren't being addressed here now at the start of your month with the page of pentacles reversed and that two of pentacles reversed i kind of see you trying to kind of restructure your priorities in order to get a better feeling of of somebody that you're dealing with i i feel like this page of pentacles reversed is either unpredictable or we kind of are walking around on eggshells around them it's an insecure feeling a page of pentacles reversed it's someone who is trying to kind of be something that they're not yet they're either pretending to be more grown than they are more ready for responsibility and duties than they are or they're acting more immature than they are like they're supposed to be more of something more wise or more capable and they're acting more immature whatever this is it just isn't fitting and we're having to make a lot of allowances for this energy it feels like with the two of pentacles reverse we're overcompensating by putting a lot of focus and attention on this energy um, this may not even be a, a love interest this could be a sibling for some of you this could be a friend that's taking up a lot of your time this could be a workmate it could even be a boss that's asking you for advice and support when they should be the ones fulfilling their duties whatever it is it's impacting your love life because it's taking up a lot of time valuable time it feels like you're having to almost bend over backwards for this energy there's this immature energy and it needs to kind of grow up it it needs to realize what it is and be more secure in what it is but it isn't it's very insecure and it's projecting that insecurity towards you which is forcing you to kind of overcompensate now for some of you this could be as mild as the person that you're interested in is feeling insecure and you find yourself having to accommodate by being more vocal or being more um, sure of what you say going over things again and again um, being very communicative and just it just feels like you're you're bending over backwards if I'm honest it's exhausting to try to explain and I think that that's some of the situation that some of you are in is it's exhausting to try to explain the knight of cups tells me there is a feeling of romance here there is a feeling of <laughs> despite all of that heavy energy in the middle of the month you may be trying to pursue more kind of I want to say serious but shyer intentions when it comes to love um I think this Knight of Cups means that you're developing feelings for somebody, Pisces, if they if you're not already, or the feelings that you have are developing even more for this person. Serious intentions here in the middle of the month. And I wouldn't usually see our Knight of Cups as being so serious, except that you, this is one of your cards. This is a Pisces feeling. So despite all of that juggling business of expectations and insecurities, it feels like you're still wanting to accommodate this energy. And I see us either wanting to offer something or just wanting to offer more of our emotional presence to this person now 
If this isn't a love interest that you're entertaining, I see you still trying to make room outside of this demanding energy for love. Whether that's you trying to meet someone new or literally trying to, with that Knight of Cups, offer compassionate, loving feelings towards other areas of your life, not just this demanding presence. Now, the Eight of Pentacles tells me you will be working on a relationship in the month ahead. I do see this showing signs of improvement. I see you really feeling more sure and certain as your efforts are invested. And this may have something to do with your romantic intentions, with you being very clear and obvious about your romantic intentions. I think that this will work to your benefit, especially if you're dealing with an insecure earth sign. This is somebody who needs to know where they stand with you and they need to see you put your money where your mouth is. On the other hand, I feel that some of you are going to be in the receiving end of this energy maybe you're the insecure one who's not feeling very you know who's feeling a little bit needy if, and I don't mean that in a negative way in, or in a judgmental way but maybe you're needing extra confirmation I see that a relationship is receiving effort and hard work and it feels more positive. It feels like it's going in the right direction now because of what we're doing, because of the hard work that we're putting into it. And it feels like physical contributions. So you may be physically spending more quality time with this person or you may be physically working on something together that helps you feel more confident in where your relationship is going. If you're a single Pisces, you're not dealing with anybody, then I see you putting more effort in your love life and I see you like physically working on something when it comes to your love life to get to this position where you feel more confident in offering um, love offers towards people that you're interested in. So you could be working on your physical appearance in order to do this or you could be working on how you approach this person or ways to kind of showcase your heartfelt intentions to them. Whatever the feeling is, it kind of progresses in a confusing end towards the middle of June. And I think this is a case of you having to juggle some volatile energy when it comes to your love life. Your intentions are clear. In fact, your intentions seem to be very pure when it comes to love, Pisces. But for whatever reason, whoever you're dealing with comes with a lot of destruction and indecisive or directionless sort of movement. And what directionless movement looks like is either somebody going in circles or somebody bouncing off the walls trying to figure out where they need to be. It's action that isn't taken with intention, whereas you seem to be very clear here. So I see, Pisces, that you could be dealing with delays in how your love life progresses despite you having clear intentions because whoever you're dealing with or whatever situation you're in seems to be delayed by fear and chaos with this tower card it feels very self-destructive maybe you're dealing with someone who is very karmic which makes sense because you had the karma card here someone who's going through a lot of healing and this healing is causing a lot of karma to come out a lot of um and when I use karma because I feel like some of you aren't well versed it feels like this person's got things in the back that, that need to be addressed that from their past or from their childhood that are coming out that need to be addressed. I feel like you've got this perfect little bubble and there's a lot happening around you. Now, the thing about this tower moment is it is impacting you for a reason. You may have devoted yourself to this person or really kind of committed yourself to helping them. And for whatever reason, this tower is also causing destruction in your life as well almost I guess to caution you against over taking too much responsibility for someone else's actions ultimately this destruction wasn't supposed to affect you at all but it is because you've taken too much responsibility for something else that's what it feels like it's almost like this isn't even supposed to be our our story and yet it is now I don't know what else I'm picking up on, so I'm just going to tune in for a second because there's another side to your Pisces group that I need to be made aware of. What is the other side of this Pisces message for the month ahead, Spirit? Making time, working on your insecurities, making time, romantic offers, spending time, 
It's the same themes, just less of the jargon in between. So the overall premise of your reading is um, making time. I feel like you do have to appreciate that you, you're bringing energy here into your love life that is quite unstable. And I don't know why we're putting so much effort towards this. Obviously, that's a personal question that will impact each of you differently. But it's requiring a lot of like bubble wrap and sort of like tiptoeing and walking around on eggshells and censoring. Like we even need to be careful about what we say and what we do. Goodness me, Spirit, what is the main challenge here for Pisces? I'm just going to have to move forward, sweets. What is the main challenge here for Pisces in the month ahead? What is the main challenge here? We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords. Oh, my Lord. These are very different energies for me. Very different energies. On one hand, we have be still, rest, heal. And on the other hand, we have be open to opportunity and get ready to go. So a challenge here with the Four of Swords is, is kind of resting, is knowing your place in somebody else's chaos. That's what I would, I would see this as. And then the other aspect of that is knowing when to just be still and just focus on, on recuperating, you know? Like a challenge here seems to be getting enough rest in the month ahead, especially because you have this chaos around you. Maybe your closest friend is going through these relationship issues and it's just rubbing off on you and limiting your ability to really spend quality time with somebody that you're, you're wanting to, or even with yourself. Some of you, this is quality time with yourself because that challenge with the Four of Swords is, is one person just kind of lying there. So maybe this is a challenge because you're not getting that rest that you need in the month ahead. But with that Wheel of Fortune, you're having to kind of seize opportunities and, and really kind of balance things out in your life. And that's why I think chances is reversed because it's, it's kind of like this as a challenge is saying you need to know when to go and you need to know what is worth moving for. And a challenge here is knowing also when to stop moving because not every opportunity or not every action or reaction deserves your action and reaction. Just because somebody's yelling at you and saying, I'm on fire, put me out. Maybe that doesn't mean you're the fireman or you're the most qualified person to be able to help them. It just feels very interesting here. It's like your opportunities are your challenge here and your reactions are your challenge. I wanna say with that wheel of fortune, it could feel like luck is challenging. You may feel after the next month you're going, man, I have the worst luck when it comes to love. And it's not you, it's somebody around you that's just draining all the goodness and really just taking a lot from you. Um, oh my Lord, let's move forward. Let's have a look at your biggest opportunity in love now in the month ahead. What is Pisces biggest opportunity in love in the month ahead? Wow. Can you confirm what I'm feeling? Oh my gosh. Ah! I can't afford to be like this, but I am essentially tongue tied. I'm essentially tongue tied. I'm speechless. I am lost for words. I don't know how to say the same thing over and over. We have the page of wands and the three of wands. I don't have a lot of time to be this dramatic, but your biggest opportunity is actually you being selfish and rejecting opportunity. Your biggest opportunity is saying no in the month ahead. No, 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 no. Especially with that page of wands reversed. It's like that page of wands reversed is, is, is almost fighting fire with fire because you're dealing with a page of pentacles reversed who is being unrealistic about their expectations of you and so your opportunity is to go well okay then <laughs> I'm just gonna mimic what you've done to me that page of wands reversed it kind of feels 
yes, immature, but it also feels like someone diverting their energy and their um, attention into a different direction, especially in this deck with that red panda that's like hanging over the, the branch. It's like we're kind of looking in a different way, especially with that three of wands. Spirit's like your biggest opportunity in love is to say no and to look in different directions. I almost see some of you cutting an energetic cord here with somebody. And I think that you have the opportunity to in the month ahead, but I don't see a lot of you doing it, unfortunately. I don't see all of you going, you know what, this is, this is fucked, for lack of a better word. I'm cutting myself free. I see some of you needing to really go through it with this person before you're ready ready to, um, while others of you, maybe you're just putting up healthier boundaries for yourself. But with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, like your biggest opportunity in love is to say no, is a form of rejection. And that Ace of Pentacles reversed is also being selfish with your time. I think you have an opportunity here to actually be more selfish with your time and how you invest your time. So what is their advice, Spirit, when it comes to love? What is Pisces advice? When it comes to love in the month ahead, we have the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups, both reversed. So, wow, you're, what is going on with my signs? I feel like all my um, air signs were very similar. All my water signs are very similar. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this trend continues. We have the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups reversed as advice. Six of Pentacles reversed is saying to be more selfish, to be more kind of... Um, careful and to start calling in some of your debts. If you've been giving too much of your time to people, maybe it's time to either get that paid back or to just start realizing that this is a loan that is never going to pay you back. It feels like there is an imbalance here and the month ahead is definitely about you getting justice for yourself. You realizing, hey, this isn't fun anymore. This is not fun. In fact, this is kind of hurting. Everything that you've fucked up is starting to hurt me and it's going to take a lot of courage, but I'm done. I am not giving you any more chances and I'm going to instead focus on finding or healing actually is what you need to focus on first and then looking in a different direction. That six of pentacles reversed is about restoring the balance and your advice here is to recognize when something is in a deficit when it comes to a connection, when something is asking too much of you without you getting the opportunity to get anything back. It's like somebody borrowing money from you and never repaying you back. With that seven of cups reversed, I think that your advice here is to be more certain about how you feel and about how people make you feel, to be more certain about your options and exactly what it is that you can do with those options. I feel like for you, Pisces, your feelings are what is going to guide you through the options that you have when it comes to your love life and how you navigate out of this tricky situation that you've gotten yourself into because you've definitely bitten off way more than you deserve to be chewing. This is not your... 500 gram steak and yet somebody's like you have five minutes to finish this go it's crazy it's a lot it's too much <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing for you Pisces I do have your May prediction reading out if you think that will be helpful as you close this month otherwise I hope this reading was helpful for you to help navigate your love life and where you're at right now you may have messages in your moon or Venus sign as these are love readings. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Do not force anything to fit and do not let it take from you. It has genuinely been a pleasure to read for you. Crazy energy. I honestly wish you so much success, prosperity and abundance in the month ahead. Please look after your beautiful self, Pisces. When you shine, everybody else shines. You're the last sign in the zodiac. So we need you. <laughs> we need you to get out, out of this mess. Please look after yourself and I shall connect with you very, very soon. Bye.